what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new here welcome to my channel today you guys we will be doing a dupes video for bath and body works fine fragrance mist a couple affordable perfume options i have some designer perfumes i have a couple niche perfumes and we're just gonna talk dupes y'all we're gonna talk dupes i'm so excited to do this video because I've literally been working on some of these suggestions for like the past few months because I really want to do some dupes that aren't already like viral on TikTok or viral on YouTube. You know, a lot of Bath & Body Works dupes are super popular already like Fairy Tale and In the Stars and things like that. So I wanted to focus on some that are in my collection, some that are discontinued Bath & Body Works since that if you are missing these perfumes, I feel like would be a great replacement. I really don't use the term dupe lightly because it is very hard to dupe a perfume in a body mist in my opinion because body mists are just never going to have the same you know level of strength and depth and layers as perfumes nine times out of ten but i feel like most of these picks are super super close some of them are just very similar vibes so if you like one of the perfumes or one of the body mists then you will like its counterparts okay so let's go ahead and jump into it you guys i've got about 20 here so here we go. The first one, you guys, is a brand new, brand new body mist in the Bath & Body Works collection. This is one that a lot of us gourmand lovers have been asking for in body care for so long, you guys, because the candle version of this is just so decadent and rich. And this is Iced Lemon Pound Cake. Now, Iced Lemon Pound Cake Body Mist has notes of sugary glaze icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. I literally just got this a couple days ago, and look at the dent that I've already put in here. Like, are you serious? This literally smells like the Starbucks Iced Lemon Loaf. Like, literally smells just like it. If you want to see my full in-depth thoughts and review on this fragrance, I will link that video up top. I had to go ahead and start with this because this is one of my current favorite body mist. So the two perfume dupes that I grabbed for this are Lyra by Zhirzhoff. This one I will say is not a dupe. I would say that the Ice Lemon Pound Cake is definitely more of like a little sister to Lyra. Lyra definitely has that lemon pound cake kind of vibe very similar to this however i feel like lyra has got some added depth and sexiness and sultriness so there's cinnamon in here there's blood orange there's licorice caramel like lyra is so dark and deep and dense and i just feel as though it's just almost impossible to dupe this this is literally like one of my top five perfumes for life and i just love it so much but if you want similar vibes you can absolutely pick up the bath and body works ice lemon pound cake they are one and the same they're in the same family and if you do not want to splurge on lira then i also have a, another very very affordable perfume option which is soft by all rehab this is a perfume that i did review in my arabian perfumes video so i will link that up top where i rated a bunch of viral arabian perfumes and this definitely smells closer to the Ice Lemon Pound Cake to me than Lyra does. I would say maybe like an 80 to 90% dupe. Um, only thing with this one is it's kind of missing a little bit of that cakey factor that's in here. I definitely smell like a yellow cake, white cake type of vibe in the background of this. But as far as that sugary, sweet, lemon glaze, lemon cream type of vibe, I definitely get that same vibe in this. And this dupe, you guys, is literally only... $10. <laughs> like it is only $10. So you guys know I always give y'all links in my video. So I will have every single perfume linked in the description box. If you are a lover of lemon gourmand scents like I am, you absolutely need this body mist and you absolutely need this perfume. Okay. The next Bath and Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist we will be duping is Fresh Coconut and Cotton. Something about the fresh, clean, but yet creamy lactonic coconut in here. This just works so well. This has been one of my favorites to wear to the gym and this has notes of coconuts coastal breeze and beachside cotton and it just smells just like that you guys it's just a very crisp clean slightly a little bit zesty coconutty type of scent like that fresh linen fresh laundry mixed with coconut it smells amazing and the perfume that i feel like it is a dupe of is sky lars coconut cove you guys loving this one for the gym these two give me such similar vibes i would say that the skylar coconut cove this has ambroxan coconuts and bergamot in it i believe as like the main key note i will have the perfume notes on the screen as i'm talking this definitely gives me that same very crisp clean creamy coconut like a fresh 
coconut vibe mixed with that almost clean laundry scent the only main difference i would say is that the skylar coconut cove definitely opens a little bit more zesty and bright with that bergamot opening but i promise you guys these both give me a very powdery creamy like sweet coconut not necessarily gourmand i would say but it's kind of just like a fresh sweet scent if that makes sense i just love both of these you guys so these are definitely one in the same in the same scent family if you love this fine fragrance mist you will absolutely love this perfume this next body mist is going to be pear creme brulee which is a lot of us gourmand lovers favorites it has notes of baked pear caramelized sugar and whipped cream and this is just such a light fluffy airy yet creamy powdery pear scent and every time i wear this you guys it reminds me so much of ellis brooklyn's sweet you guys now this is probably my favorite ellis brooklyn scent this one has its main keynotes are pear, ambrette, I believe marshmallow, like whipped cream or something like that. This reminds me so much of pear creme brulee because it has that same fluffy whipped, you know, gourmand marshmallowy smell. But at the same time, it also kind of smells like a Swedish fish or like a gummy bear in a way. It's so weird how it smells like both at the same time, but if you love pear creme brulee i absolutely think this is a perfume you should try i get so many compliments anytime i wear this perfume as well it is just so sugary sweet if you like those very very sweet gourmand fragrances this is definitely one that you should check out this is also compared to god is a woman by ariana grande and i can kind of see that as well but this one is definitely a lot more powdery a lot more fluffy a lot more super sugary sweets where i feel like god as a woman definitely leans a little bit more fresh so if you are a fan of pear creme brulee girl you will absolutely love ellis brooklyn's sweet on the list this is one that some of you guys have probably already seen before on the net but this is definitely one that i feel like is perfect for the season i try to pick fragrance mists that i feel like are still perfect for the season like the spring and the summer that aren't too heavy but i do have like a whole other list of like some other dupes in my collection out side of this list so if you guys are interested in me continuing up with this definitely let me know in the comments below and i will try to drop another version of this but this is vanilla mocha cream by bath and body works this one has notes of cozy cappuccino vanilla orchid and white tonka bean and it's just a very creamy lactonic i wouldn't say it's super coffee forward honestly it definitely gives me more of like the froth or like the foam on a cappuccino the foam on like a latte or something like that just the sweeter part of some sort of caffeinated drink so that is what this smells like and this is a dupe for none other than sky lars vanilla sky this is another one that i just love it's such an easy reach it's such a cozy sweet creamy vanilla an easy reach vanilla this is not going to be be small but this is going to give you that nice intimate cozy scent bubble that you can absolutely overspray this also layers beautifully with so many things i also get tons of compliments when i wear this so skylar since you can pick up at sephora or you can order directly from the skylar website which by the way you guys thank you to everyone who has been submitting testimonials for me for the sephora squad i did apply for the sephora squad 2023 and it is just a huge huge deal so if you guys would love to support me and submit a testimonial even if you have already submitted one i believe you can also submit another one just know you guys it will be a huge deal if that will be something i could be a part of and i would greatly greatly appreciate it because y'all know y'all will be right along that journey with me okay but yes you can absolutely pick this up from sephora it's such an easy one i don't really see too many people who dislike this I feel like the only people that I've ever heard say they don't like this is people who want something more beast mode, but this is definitely more of a cozy scent bubble, very creamy, lactonic, sweet, creamy vanilla, and I just love this one, you guys. These are definitely like super, super close, like I would say 90% or more match, so if you like one girl, you will absolutely like the other. This next perfume dupe is one that actually is a dupe of a couple of fragrances, but the main one is Bath & Body Works Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls. And I have a bunch of these little minis that I stocked up on because I just love this scent. I actually just emptied this scent in my um, latest empties video, so definitely check that out. I will link it up top. This has three notes listed on Fragrantica, which are cinnamon, orange, and sugar. And 
y'all this just smells so good i've always wished that we got this in like a full body care line but we never did and also in comparison to this scent which is a very old victoria's secret scent that was discontinued midnight ivy this is another scent that has like a cinnamony raisin type of vibe where it smells kind of like a cinnamon roll of some kind so these two scents but more specifically this one definitely 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 are dupes for this perfume this is the perfume which is called Kamra. this has been a highly 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 compared to scent to angel share by killian but honestly Kamra is just 10 times better than angel share to me I feel like Angel Share leans very unisex and almost a little bit masculine. It's got this boozy kind of vibe. This is basically Angel Share without the booziness, without that masculinity. It literally smells like iced cinnamon rolls. Like when I smell this next to iced cinnamon rolls by Bath and Body Works, I probably would not be able to tell the difference. I would only be able to know the difference because this lasts for ages, gives me an amazing, amazing scent bubble. But y'all, literally, I wore both of these to get my car service the other day and the guy was like, oh my God, you and your car smell amazing. You definitely need this perfume. This is definitely more of a cozy gourmand. Like I can absolutely see this being more of a fall winter scent, but the fact that this opens up with cinnamon and bergamot and nutmeg, it's like, it still has just enough of that zesty citrus vibe that I feel like it would work perfectly in the spring as well. And then there's dates in here, there's praline, there's tuberose, which y'all know tuberose is kind of one of those sweeter bubble gummy type of florals. And then vanilla, tonka bean, like this is just loaded up with so many super sugary sweet notes, you guys. So if you are ever a fan of Merry Christmas iced cinnamon rolls, I definitely think this is a perfume you should check out. They smell super super close to me like this is one of those dupes that i feel like it's like a 90 percent dupe but this is just a body mist so it's not gonna have the same performance as this but yeah y'all love 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 these this next one is a more recent love in my collection this is coco paradise by bath and body works i don't know why i keep saying by bath and body works because literally all of these are like by bath and body works but this one has notes of salted coconut manoi sugared neroli and bronze sandalwood y'all know i've just been totally obsessed with this scent this year this is literally going to be the epitome of that sexy summer scent that you just want to wear with everything. It smells like bronzer, but in the best way possible. Like salted coconut bronzer. I have no idea how to explain that. Like, y'all know if you've ever used like a bronzing product, it just has this super sweet smell. That is what this smells like to me. Mixed with that toasted, like sweet, sugary coconut. It just smells amazing. Y'all know I've just been obsessed with this and... The perfume I'm going to compare it to is not a spot on dupe, but they give me such similar vibes. And that is Alien Goddess by Mugler. This is another summer fave of mine. This is a perfume that I have emptied and repurchased several times. I've put my mom onto this. I've put my best friend onto this. Like, this is just a love for me. This is not a typical Mugler fragrance. I would definitely say this is more of a crowd pleasing scent. It's so sweet. The coconut, the bergamot, it's a little bit aquatic. There's vanilla in here. And I just literally, every time I smell both of these scents, they just transport me to a tropical island. <laughs> like I've worn these two together already. Like they just they just play so well off of each other there's so many amazing notes in both of these that just work so well you guys so while this is definitely not a 100 percent dupe or match i do feel like this one is just a little bit sweeter there's a little bit more citrus like coming through in this one with that neroli but they both give me the same vibes y'all and i really feel like if you are a fan of this perfume or you are a fan of this fine fragrance mist you will absolutely be a fan of the other one so yeah definitely recommend you guys try these out if you are a lover of tropical coconut type of scents this next fine fragrance mist is going to be another pretty familiar scent it, they have changed the name of it but this scent has already been out before this is not anything new but this is fiji sunshine also known as fiji sunshine guavatini this one has notes of sun-kissed guava fresh orange and seaside jasmine and this is definitely just a very bright mood boosting orangey guava tropical type of scent it's just puts you in a good mood it almost kind of smells like sunny d or something 
it just smells really really good it is a little lighter than what i remember it being honestly but the perfume that i feel like it is not a perfect dupe of but i feel like it definitely gives me similar vibes is nude by rihanna this is a perfume that i did mention on my spring perfume tray definitely check that video out i will link it up at the top nude also has a very prominent bright juicy opening of guava and orange and it just smells like a sexier grown woman type of version of this one so i feel like if you want something that smells like this but is a little bit more perfumey also some sandalwood some musk in here and vanilla orchid so that really grounds this fragrance because i do feel like this one does not last the longest and it's not the most projecting so i feel like if you pair the two together they just give that truly juicy fruity musky guava orange type of scent again this one definitely does not have those strong base notes that are in this one that helps to anchor the fragrance and give it some depth but again this is definitely one of the scents that i feel like they give me very similar vibes they're not spot on dupes but if you like this and you want something that smells a little bit more perfumey for the spring or summer definitely check out nude i love this perfume i've been wearing it for years and it's just such an easy affordable sexy scent that will definitely get you some compliments and really just put you in the mood for spring and summer and this is another one that gives me similar vibes to this perfume but this is orange vanilla twist and i'm pretty sure i did a layering combo last summer with these exact two scents together but orange vanilla twist has notes of juicy orange summer sherbet and vanilla cream and it definitely just gives me that very bright, uplifting, zesty citrus note mixed with that vanilla. I don't know what it is, you guys, but I really have a thing for citrus, creamy, powdery vanilla scents. Like, I just love when there is a citrus mixed with something creamy or lactonic. That just brings my soul joy okay so it was only natural that i compared this to one of my all-time favorite perfumes which is mont blanc signature now again these are not spot on dupes but mont blanc signature has a very prominent mandarin and vanilla note and i feel like this is like a much more clean perfumey version of orange vanilla twist orange vanilla twist definitely has way more citrus way more sweetness a lot more of just that artificial orangey type of vibe whereas Mont Blanc signature tones down that citrus note so this has you know that mandarin where it's not as super in your face and sugary sweet and adding in that vanilla and other floral notes as well this just makes it smell more sexy more like a feminine second skin but you are still getting that very creamy citrus note you're still getting that lactonic vibe coming through and this is another perfume that will get you so many compliments you guys like this is such an easy reach but you would be surprised at how many people and how many men gravitate towards these type of scents on women it just smells clean but it also has the perfect amount of sweetness and i just feel like these two give me very similar vibes this one leaves more gourmand where this one like i said tones down the sweetness tones down the citrus a little bit and adds that powdery clean vanillic type of vibe and i just feel like if you like one you will like the other girl this next one is another one that i've mentioned here and there on my channel before but this is lemon pomegranate cream this is a discontinued bath and body Works scent and it literally smells like lemon raspberry sweet tarts or something and it just smells amazing and i have always said and compared it to this perfume which is versace arrows pour femme this is the eau de toilette now something a little bit weird is the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum definitely smell different to me however the eau de parfum actually has top notes of lemon and pomegranate in it this one has notes of lemon and raspberry in the top notes but i feel like this one smells more like this body mist to me so i don't know girl but this definitely has that citrusy sweet tart type of vibe it smells like gummy bears it smells like you know just some sort of sweet gummy candy fruit snacks and i get this exact same vibe with this because this has lemon and pomegranate in it as well so this definitely opens up with that same burst of lemon that same burst of raspberry it's tart it's sweet it's fruity and this just does so well in the heat you guys i wore this one all last summer and i just loved it so out make sure you check out the eau de toilette though y'all because 
I can't really speak to the Eau de Parfum. I feel like I smelled the Eau de Parfum once and I really was not a fan of it. But if you like those sugary, sweet, sweet tart type of scents that is reminiscent of lemon pomegranate cream from way back in the day, I definitely think you guys should check out Versace Eros Pore Femme. Next one is going to be Bath & Body Works Sweet Almond and Honey. This is another one that was discontinued, but it is just so good, you guys. Like I literally, I think I have two fine fragrance mists of this. I just could not bring myself to use it up. It literally smells like the sweetest, most decadent almond cream mixed with honey. It just smells so amazing, you guys. If you are missing this scent, you should definitely try Jimmy Choo's Illicit. Now, this one is definitely more of an authentic honey note, I would say. And this also just has an overall more perfumey kind of vibe. But this one just smells equally as sugary sweet. I would say this one probably has a little bit more creaminess overall and just has a little bit more of that artificial take on it because of the almond in here and the fact that this is a body mist. But this definitely takes honey and makes it smell a little bit more grown up, a little bit more perfumey but they do still share that very prominent honey note. I feel like both of these scents are just perfect for this time of year because they give you fresh, sweet type of vibe where it's not that cloying sweet. And this one is just another crowd pleaser, you guys. A very easy to wear crowd pleasing scent that you can 100% overspray. It's not super beast mode, at least not on me, but I find that when I overspray this, this is another one that gets me tons of compliments. So if you are a fan of this that is now discontinued, I definitely recommend you check out the Jimmy Choo Illicit. Okay, y'all, now this next one, it's a little controversial, but I wanted to include it anyway because some of the girls really, really love the perfume that I'm about to compare it to, even though I really don't feel the same way, but this one is going to be Sunset Glow. So Sunset Glow has notes of fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. And this is a scent that I love, okay? This is a scent that I love, but I do have two perfumes that I'm going to compare this to. The first one is going to be a perfume that I actually really, really love, which is Cherosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. As you guys can see from the dent, this is one of my favorites, especially in the summer, but I honestly wear this one year round. It just has that caramelized vanilla, that pistachio. It's super sugary sweet, but it's also not overpowering. There's a little bit of saltiness in here. Like, this is just so good. I love this one. And I feel like this is definitely a very close dupe of this one, except this has an added cherry note. So this is definitely lacking that kind of fruity vibe in here. But overall, I feel like this perfume was definitely the inspiration to this fine fragrance mist. However, there is a new perfume girl on the block that the girls are going crazy over i mentioned this when i reviewed this fragrance but this is a scent that the girls are going crazy over and i do feel like they favor one another and that is yara by latafa i feel like yara definitely has that same kind of salty vibe something like fruity in there like this definitely has like a tropical fruit vibe or some sort of creamy coconut vibe definitely favors sunset glow as well minus like that cherry note but it still gives me that salty fruity kind of vanillic vibe a lot of the girls say that this smells like strawberry cream or you know smells like strawberry pound cake i do not get that vibe at all this definitely smells way closer to sunset glow to me even though i don't really love this perfume i have kept it in my collection because i do want to see how the scent develops over time i will say i did the few times that i have worn this i've gotten a lot of compliments so it seems to be a very crowd pleasing scent when worn but I just have not been able to really get on the hype train with this one. It just doesn't smell that amazing to me, but it does smell very similar to Sunset Glow. So if you are interested in something that smells like this body mist, you definitely might want to check out Yara. This next one is another newer fragrance. I have yet to get the full size of it, but I definitely will be picking up the full size when it comes out. This is Gingham Gorgeous. This is one of the newest Gingham flankers from Bath & Body Works. And if you guys watch my spring body mist picks video from Bath & Body Works, definitely check it out i will link that up top this was definitely a very surprising love for me I never really loved the original gingham but i do love the gingham heart of gold which was discontinued and i also love the gingham love this one is basically a spinoff on the original gingham so this one has notes of strawberry nectar peonies and peach i believe if you are a fan of this 
or you have yet to smell it and you want a perfume to compare it to i definitely think this is very very close in scent to a perfume that is near and dear to my heart which is chloe the original chloe edp this one also has some very prominent floral notes but it leans a lot sweeter. This also has rose. This also has peony. Chloe opens up with lychee, so it does still kind of have that slightly tart fruit kind of opening, but I feel like these smell very, very similar. They give me very, very similar vibes. This one is definitely sweeter because it has that strawberry and peach, but they both still have that very fruity, sweet peony rose type of background scent. So I definitely think these two give me super similar vibes. If you are curious what this new gingham flanker smells like, just imagine this scent if you have never smelled it before. This is just a classic feminine perfume. This is one of those perfumes I really just feel like every woman should have in her collection. Even if you're not really a floral girl, like this perfume is just so crowd pleasing. Literally when you wear it, you feel like you have money, feel like you just have it all together. It's super feminine, super delicate. And yeah, you guys, this is just a favorite of mine that I will always forever repurchase. So love these two. And I feel like they definitely give me very similar vibes. Yeah, these next two are two that I've already done. Basically, I've done a full review on the perfume that I'm about to compare this to. So I'm not gonna go super in depth, but I will link that review up at the top. But the two fine fragrance mists we will be comparing to a perfume is going to be Pastel Skies and Cotton Candy Clouds, which you guys know, these definitely both give similar vibes as it is, whereas Pastel Skies definitely has a little bit more of kind of like that clean, musky note in the background, but they both just kind of have that cotton candy vibe. And I feel like they are just so super, super close in scent to Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. This scent is only available on Skylar's website, unfortunately, and they have not released the full size bottle of this as of yet. They are supposed to be coming out with this in a full size bottle. And I will be scooping it up, girl, because I have already emptied this. And this definitely has that same very aquatic yet cotton candy type of vibe. There's also an apple note in here as well. This fragrance, you guys, is not a spot on dupe for either of these, but I feel like it takes the best parts of both of them. It's got coconut in here as well. So it's kind of a creamy coconut in the background. There's apple in here. I believe there's also raspberry, like cotton candy. It just smells so good but it also smells fresh and clean at the same time and i kind of get the same vibes especially from pastel skies where it has that super sugary sweet vibe but it also has just that crisp clean vibe in the background so if you like either of these scents you guys you will definitely definitely be a fan of skylar's boardwalk delight next body mist you guys is one that's a little bit more popular in the dupe world but this is gingham heart of gold and this has been heavily compared to Juicy Couture's Gold Couture, which I definitely feel it is a dupe of. However, if you want something that's even more affordable than this, you guys, then definitely check out Dalal by All Rehab. This is another fragrance that I've spoken about on my channel before. The first time that I got this, I really did not get the caramelly goodness that's in here this also has vanilla caramel and orange so whereas this one has a very prominent caramelized apple note this smells very similar to me except there's just more of a citrus vibe like i said it took a little minute for the scents to develop in here so while this is super affordable i would say give it a few sprays first and let it sit because it did not give me the caramelly goodness first initial spray but i will say after i let the fragrance sit for a little while it definitely smells super similar to this you guys like it smells like a more citrusy version of these two scents in my opinion so if you miss gingham heart of gold and you do not want to rebuy it on mercari i definitely think Dalal is a scent that you should check out it's super super affordable and it's not the most long lasting but again it's only ten dollars y'all like these arabian perfumes are just great to grab to throw in your purse if you just want something that is an easy to wear perfume that's going to give you a decent amount of longevity and it's super affordable y'all definitely recommend you check this one out as well next from the same collection as the pear creme brulee we have peach prosecco macaron now i feel like i talked about the perfume i'm about to compare this to in my valentine's day or date night perfume video so i will link that up at the top because i think i kind of made that comparison in that video as well but peach prosecco macaron i just emptied a body cream and a shower gel of this and i just love this scent y'all this has notes of peach prosecco vanilla cream and macaron cookie this is just such a crowd pleasing scent 
men love this scent it just smells so good it's just a juicy peach with like this cookie vibe in the background this vanillic vibe in the background and the perfume y'all the perfume that i feel like this is a dupe for or very very close and sent to also shares a peach and macaroon note which is so rare you do not see perfumes that literally have those two notes in it now the perfume that i feel like this was inspired by is heat by beyonce you guys this is the original heat Heat also has a peach note it also has a macaroon note but this has some added florals in here this has musk added amber and tonka bean added as well as almond so this is like peach prosecco macaron on sexy steroids <laughs> like literally if you were to take peach prosecco macaron and turn it into a sexy date night perfume i feel like this is perfect because you still get that juicy peach note with that super creamy like almost a little bit lactonic vibe from that almond and the macaroon cookie mixing together so you can't really 100 percent pull out the macaroon cookie in here in my opinion but I feel like the way that this is blended together is just so sultry and sexy and gives me very similar vibes to this perfume. But if you were to turn this into something super sexy and not as casual in daytime, like I said, they share that peach note and that macaroon note and they definitely give me very similar vibes. So I feel like if you like this body mist, this is definitely another super affordable perfume you should check out because not only is it affordable you guys this gives me very decent longevity as well for how cheap it is so yes i 100 percent love the beyonce heat line but this one's definitely my favorite just a super super cheap affordable gem and i just love this one the next one is the frosted vanilla happy birthday which by the way this has returned and is repackaged now it's in like this silver happy birthday packaging definitely check your local bath and body works like in the travel size section i will have like a picture or a side by side so you can see what it looks like because i did see it in stores the other day but this is whipped creamy almost kind of doughy a little bit nutty like it definitely smells like there's some sort of almond or something in here it's a connotes for this is literally frosting in vanilla and y'all literally this is one of those dupes that i feel like it is almost a spot on dupe for this perfume this just smells so good you guys vanille extreme by sud pacifique now this one you guys i definitely think is a little bit more doughy like almost kind of like that play-doughy type of vibe if that makes sense this definitely has a little bit more depth to it like i said it is a perfume it's going to have a little bit more components and layers than a body mist but i feel like if you like this you will definitely love this because it still gives me that very like whipped lactonic buttercream icing type of scent and this is just another easy one to layer it also kind of has just that airy vibe and both of these are perfect scents to layer honestly and they both like i said give me super super similar vibes so if you are someone who never got a chance to try this and you don't have a bath and body works in your store or you don't want to go out and try and find the newer repackaging of this this is definitely a perfume that you should check out you can actually pick this up on amazon so i will definitely have it linked below i have the smaller size because I do feel like I have a lot of scents that kind of match the scent profile, but this is a perfect, perfect, perfect layering vanilla. If you like those kind of Play-Doh-y type of scents, like scents like Pacifica, Silver Moon and things like that, this definitely leans along those lines. Okay, y'all, this next one, I was so hyped when I realized what this smelled like. When I picked this perfume up for the first time, I thought it smelled like something else until I found what it really smelled like. So this one right here, a lot of the girls are going to be ready to come through the phone when I show y'all that I found a dupe for this. But this is Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle, okay? And this one has notes of Snickerdoodle Spice, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugared Musk. And y'all know, this is just such a perfectly done, sweet, creamy you know a little bit fluffy a tiny bit spicy and then it also has that musk in there that makes this a wearable gourmand but it's just so sexy and sweet and honestly this is one that i wear year round because i don't feel like it's heavy at all but this you guys is definitely a dupe even though this perfume came out after this scent i think but this is definitely a dupe for dulce by rosie jane this is a more recent perfume in my collection that if you guys can't tell i've put a nice little dent in here i have been loving this and i'm definitely picking up a full-size bottle girl dulce by rosie jane has notes of vanilla chocolate and musk but y'all i feel like these are so close these are so close like these are super close y'all like 
I really hate to use the word perfect dupe, but these are just so freaking close. If y'all own these two, please smell them side by side and tell me I'm not tripping because I feel like the only major difference might be that Dolce has a woody note in here as well. So that makes this smell just a teeny bit more dense and thicker and a little bit just more rich, a little bit more of a layer to it. But y'all, these are almost spot on dupes. If you love this and you want a perfume like that smells like it, girl, definitely check out Dolce by Rosie Jane. Like I will 100, 100, 100, 100% 100 be getting a full size bottle of this for sure. I'm trying to finish this up first, but yeah, like this is a must have in my collection. And if you are a Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle stan, definitely check this perfume out, girl. You can get the roller ball if you wanna test it out and make sure. But yeah, if y'all have these two, let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Next one is another one that I've talked about on my channel before, but this is Dahlia. I know this is heavily said to be a dupe for Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, but I have always said that this is closer in scent to a perfume by Coach, which is called Coach Dreams Sunset. So this one has a note of Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whips Tonka Bean. And yeah, I can see the comparisons to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, but I definitely feel like it smells way closer in scent to this one because this opens up with a very creamy pear ice cream note, but this also has tonka bean in it and it's a little bit powdery. That makes the smell just a little teeny bit fresh, but overall, this is just a very juicy pear, lactonic, creamy, kind of powdery pear, and it just gives me the same exact vibes as this. So if you love Dahlia and you want a perfume that smells very similar to it and you were not a fan of Good Girl, because I feel like a lot of people don't like Good Girl for how you know cloying and strong it can be, this is definitely an alternative that you should check out. And I feel like this smells way closer to this scent than it does to Good Girl. So yes, you can pick this up at Ulta. This next one, if you guys have been following me, you know this was one of my favorites from the holiday releases. So this is Blush Cardigan, you guys. And this this one has notes of sweet raspberries, sugar dipped violet, and warm amber. Perfume that I feel like this is a dupe of is a perfume I don't currently own right now because I have emptied a couple travel sizes of it and that is Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. Now the reason I have not committed to a full size of that perfume is because the longevity is trash. Literally every time I have tried that, tested it out you guys, the scent dissipates within minutes on me. No, Juliet Has a Gun is not a cheap brand okay so i really do not want to commit to a bottle that expensive for the longevity to not be great especially when i have this because i feel like this honestly lasts longer than that perfume and gives me very similar vibes lipstick fever definitely has more of that cosmetic powdery vibe whereas this this definitely still has that very prominent powdery raspberry note in here. And this one is definitely a little bit more soft and subdued. Whereas Lipstick Fever has a heavier, thicker, like cosmetic lipsticky raspberry type of scent, if that makes sense. I feel like they give me such similar vibes, you guys. If you love the smell of Blush Cardigan, you may want to get a travel size or a sample size of the Lipstick Fever by Juliet Has a Gun because that is one of the few scents from that line that I really, really do like. I just really wish it lasted longer. So I'm still on the fence about purchasing it, but they definitely give me super similar vibes. And I feel like if you like this, you will definitely like the Lipstick Fever by Juliet Has a Gun. Next one is one that I pretty much told y'all the scent that I thought it was a dupe of this the moment that I smelled it. So I will put a picture on the side because I had a whole video talking about this y'all when this came out but this is fall in bloom you guys this one has notes of juicy plum wild blooms and velvet moss the internet pretty much hyped this up as being a dupe for burberry her some people compared this to burberry her elixir but honestly me having had all three of the burberry flankers i feel like this has always been closer in scent to the burberry her eau de toilette to me the burberry her eau de toilette is definitely more of a super juicy fruity fresh floral whereas the original burberry her i feel like it definitely has that slightly unisex vibe that kind of makes people compare it to baccarat and then burberry her elixir which if you guys have been following me that's one of my favorite perfumes it has way more of a creamy lactonic strawberry woody sexiness and it that does not smell like burberry her elixir to me at all so 
this one just smells way closer to the Burberry Her Eau de Toilette, the one with the green juice. Like I promise if y'all smell that, y'all are gonna be like, okay, I see where you're going with this <laughs> because I think that one has top notes of like peach or like pear and just super juicy fruits mixed with musk. There's also just some florals mixed in there as well. But whenever I wear this with that scent, which by the way, I emptied that perfume and I have not repurchased it yet because I'm trying to get through my other perfumes but that is definitely a perfume i would repurchase for sure i'm considering getting a travel size just to have but this is definitely a dupe for that y'all because this gives me that same super juicy fresh floral vibe it smells so good y'all i just love this scent i freaking love the scent i have some of the perfume pins for this scent like I just love this scent you guys and if you love this scent I definitely recommend you guys check out the Burberry Her Eau de Toilette because it gives me that same very fresh juicy clean yet floral type of vibe and it's going to be perfect for the spring and the summer. I saved the best for last right now I need to preface this and say this is not a spot on dupe okay I know how the girls like to tussle the girls be ready to come through the computer screen in the comments like I don't need y'all coming after me but when i tell y'all these two scents give me super similar vibes okay super similar vibes wrapped in vanilla wrapped in vanilla right y'all don't come after me listen okay so when i first got this body mist you guys i did not love it but somehow over the past few months something has happened something has changed to where this smells so much more of that like fluffy vanilla that matches the body cream i still don't feel like it smells 100 percent like the body cream i feel like the body cream still has that very authentic buttercream icing smell but when i first picked this scent up if you guys watched that video i pretty much said that this had like an underlying fruity kind of vibe something in here smelled very fruity to me where I smelled vanilla, but there was a fruity note in the background, right? But wrapped in vanilla has notes of soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly creme. And I think it might have been the chantilly creme that was giving it some sort of fruity vibe. But the perfume that I feel the exact same way about, which I did not love it at first either, but the longer it's been in my collection, it has developed into this fruity buttercream vanilla type of vibe. And that is Vanille Abricot by Sud Pacifique. Y'all, I talked about this in a layering video actually, and this is also on my spring perfume tray because like I said, y'all, when I first got this perfume, I did not love it. I was so confused about the hype and how highly this was rated on Fragrantica because the first couple of times I sprayed it out, I could barely smell it. I wore it a few times. I couldn't really, it didn't last on me. I wasn't getting this super sweet, sugary sweetness that, that I was reading about. And something has changed miraculously. After you get this and you let it sit, you guys, it smells so much better. After you wear it a few times, something in here has deepened to where this smells like, this smells like some sort of fruity, fluffy, vanilla, buttercream, cotton candy. And again, it's not a spot on dupe for wrapped in vanilla, but they give me such similar vibes. If you like those artificially sweet, like tooth achingly sweet vanillas, this is definitely one you should check out y'all like this just smells so good this is definitely a little bit fruitier than wrapped in vanilla but it just has that same artificial sweet vanilla scent that smells like it's supposed to be on some type of cake loaded with sugar like this is for my girls with the sweet tooth okay and again this is another one you can pick up on amazon so i will have it linked y'all but yes i do not need y'all coming through the screen but girl if you want a perfume that reminds you of wrapped in vanilla, that same level of sweetness, girl, definitely check out Vanille Apricot because this one is just super tooth achingly sweet, girl. Tooth aching, tooth achingly sweet. And I be dousing myself down in this now, y'all. It just smells incredible. It just smells so good. Like I said, Make sure you let it sit for a minute, girl. Spray it out a few times. You might not even have to do that. It might have just been this particular bottle that I got. I'm not sure. But yeah, y'all, just make sure you give this one a chance before you give up on it. Because the first few times that I wore this, I was not impressed. But something has changed, girl. And now it literally gives me very similar vibes to Wrapped in Vanilla. So yeah, y'all. Now for this last, last, last one. 
please make sure you are subscribed okay if you enjoyed this video please make sure you are subscribed and if you guys want me to continue this series definitely let me know in the comments below and i will definitely go ahead and try to crank out another installment of this for you guys because like i said i have tons of perfumes in my little notes app right now of perfumes that remind me of each other or they give me similar vibes to a body mist etc etc so yeah if you guys like this definitely let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye